Hello there guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today we are going to be looking at the top 5 teams to manage on Championship Manager 0102, but in the English lower leagues. So these have just got varied reasons why I've chosen them. It could be money, it could be players, it could be you know the status of the stadium and things like that. But we're going to hop straight into it. Now the first team that we're going to look at is Blackpool. Now, Blackpool have such potential. Now, in particular, when we look at these types of players like Richie Wellens, um, they're currently sitting in the second division. There's a lot of good teams in the second division, but Blackpool always seem to jump out at me. Now, they have people like John Murphy. I was always a fan of John Murphy. Um, they also have Martin Bullock, who can do a great job. You've got Reed at the back with his experience. And they just are an all-round really good team. They even have, obviously, Brett Ormerod, who is a legend in the game. He knows where the back of the net is with 17 goals in the previous season. And they've got Matty Blinkhall, a young 16-year-old, finishing his 20. He is one for the future. You need to tie him down on a contract as soon as you possibly can. Okay, then moving on to my fourth team out of five. Uh, this would be Hull City. Hull City are a very big club for a third division team. They are absolutely brilliant. Their, their status in terms of finances are okay. They are actually an incredibly good team with, with really good players and such a big squad as well. Um, Julian Johnson from the Faroe Islands, good central midfielder. Um, you've obviously got a good attacking midfielder, young attacking midfielder there. These um, Theodore Whitmore, who is, is really good. Um, he's a really good player as well. Um, but you've got some really decent young players as well. You've got a young Gary Alexander there, who, who seems to know where the net is. Uh, this bloke, he used to play, he was, he was at Man United, I'm sure he was. Did he start his brain? No, he didn't. I'm, I'm thinking of another one. Um, but he is a good keeper as well. And they've got Bloomer, obviously, at centre. But another 22 year old. You look at the stats of some of these players. For a Division 3 team, they're actually really, really good. Uh, this is why Hull City goes into my fourth place in terms of top five teams to manage in the English lower division. Moving on to number three, and it is Wigan Athletic. Now, you would have seen, I think I did a live stream on Wigan Athletic, or it was my very first live stream that I did. This team has so much potential. This is why this is at number three for me today. Um, it starts off in the second division, the same as Blackpool, that I said before. They have a very, very secure finances, um, which is always good. Uh, they've got a strong defence. Now, they've got De Zua here, and they've also got DeVos as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Which are incredibly good players. Uh, I've obviously got Lee McCulloch up front as well, a young 23 year old um, Scottish um, international. He's good as well. Gary Brannan, defensive midfielder. Now, when I do my tactics, I need a defensive midfielder, so that's always coming in quite handy for me uh, on this game, and he fitted in perfectly. You also have Neil Roberts as well, another good player, and um, Horuth. I can't deny he says his name. But he is a very, very good striker on this as well. And obviously you do have enough funds to get your usual guys in, like, you know, your Mike Duffs. You've got Kevin Sharp already as a defensive left-back who can push on. Um, and it just really, it sorts itself out, this squad. You, see, you have everything that you need within this Wigan team to actually win the second division by a long shot. Okay, moving on to my second place, and it is Manchester City. Now... This obviously, in today's day and age, City are obviously a force to be reckoned with. But at this time, they were actually in the first division. They are favourites to go up on this. They have quality players like Al Berkovic, Paolo Wanchop. They even have t uh, players like Sean Gota, a young Sean Wright Phillips as well in there. Um, <clears throat> and these guys are just set up. Darren Huckabee as well is another. You know, they, they've got an incredibly strong Paul Dickoff. It's a strong strike force that they've got. Nicky Weaver in goal. Always seems to do the job as well. Richard Dunn, a strong centre-back. A young Richard Dunn, actually, at that. Um, Alfinger Harland, that defensive midfielder. He always sits well there. That's where I like to play him on this game. Stephen Howie, a very strong defender. He used to play for Newcastle. <clears throat> and it really does, like I said, with, with the other teams at the moment, it does even itself out in terms of what you want. And I actually think that when you put this team together... It turns into a phenomenal team. I mean, they, they seem to gel. You do have a bit of money as well. Finances are okay at the club. And I do believe that City, actually, they that's why I've put them as my second choice. Okay, my number one choice that comes as no surprise here, you would have seen my um, series on these guys, is Rushton and Diamonds. Rushton and Diamonds are in the third division. Um, I think, who are they with, who I just looked at just then? We looked at another one in the third division, didn't we? Hull, um, Rushton... 
have got money. It's as simple as that. I mean, it says they're secure, but they have money to burn. For a Division 3 team, that is. Now, you can bring in any player that you want pretty much around this level, and they will be attracted to go to you. But actually, you already have players like uh, Jean-Michael here. He, he's fantastic. Dwayne Darby is another one. They do the business on their own anyway. You don't need to worry about that. What I noticed as well is Andy Burchess. He seems to get a lot of interest really soon. So you need to tie him down on a contract. John Brady's a really good one. So if you're looking for that three in midfield, I normally play Burgess, Brady, and then a stick McKelton in there as a set as a central midfielder. And then the, the issue is they don't really have a good defensive midfielder. So I normally put in Gray for that area there um, because he's the only defensive one that I come across on here. Uh, Turley, a fantastic keeper, a really good keeper. And um, he is someone that will get scouted up quite quickly. They have a lot of young, decent players on this. And I think that's why they always seem to jump out at me as being a really good team that has potential to go up, especially as they're only in the third division. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope you enjoyed the five teams. Give them a go. Obviously, a lot of you will know um, these teams anyway, but these are my top five choices of who I would pick if I was in the lower English league. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you for the next installment.